Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to another Adventure Quest Worlds video. I've been out of town for the past three or four days, and I will be again this weekend. And during my hiatus, we got a new naval commander, the Paladin Slayer Naval Commander, which looks phenomenal. I know I'm kind of late on this, and there are plenty of other videos that you can check out or that you've already seen. So if you don't really want to pay attention, you can have me as background noise, or you could just exit out completely and move on to another video. So today, I want to check out the Paladin Slayer Naval Commander for myself and give my thoughts and opinions on it. It is a new upgrade bonus set, so if you purchase ACs or membership, you can unlock this new naval. It also comes with a badge, and you go into your book of lore to access the shop, which we will be doing right now. So we come here to our book of lore, go to badges, go to other badges, and scroll on over to this one right here, Paladin Slayer Naval. And this is what the badge on the character page looks like, and let's hop into the shop, check that out. We'll start here with the weapons. We have the Paladin Slayer's Star Sword. It's always cool to get a new star sword by the way if you guys haven't already if you aren't a member the new upholders are coming up soon i think it's the 12th upholder so that's pretty cool so if you haven't got a membership and you want to be an upholder definitely go to your account manager on aq.com and check that out because if you want to be an upholder it's always good to verify that you qualify before you spend money on another membership we have the paladin slaying cutlass dual bottles o doom juice which is like pirate whiskey or the rum rum's good we got the dual Paladin's Demise Pistol. That's a cool pistol if you're into the whole gun thing in Adventure Quest Worlds. I'm not super into it. They have a few cool guns, but you'll never really see me wielding any type of gun <laughs> in Adventure Quest Worlds. We have the dual version of the Paladin Slayer's Star Sword, the dual Paladin Slaying Cutlasses, the Paladin Slaying Cutlass and pistol, the Paladin's Demise Pistol, just single-handed, and the single-handed Bottle O Doom Juice. So I think this is a pretty cool um, combo right here, the sword and the pistol. If you guys are into that, that's pretty sweet, right? I think it'd be cool if you had the pistol and the Bottle of Doom Juice, like he's just going on a rum-fueled rampage and just shooting other pirates. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of cool. And then, of course, we have the Paladin Slayer Naval Commander, which I am currently wielding. I've, I've already bought many things from this shop. I'm just kind of going through for you guys. We have the Paladin Slayer Naval Top Hat, Paladin Slayer Naval Top Hat and Locks, Paladin Slayer Top Hat and Skull. I think this one's the coolest, in my opinion, um, out of all the helms. I'm currently also wielding this one. The Naval Tricorn is pretty cool. I'm not, I just wish that they could come up with a, a, some cooler hairdos for males um, with, with this kind of stuff. Like some cooler, like, Jack Sparrow hair, you know, like, like braids and beads and rough, like just grizzly pirate hair. I think that'd be kind of cool. The Paladin Slayer Naval Tricorn and Locks has the nice bangs. We have the Tricorn and the Skull, which is also very nice. And the classic Naval Commander bandana with the cool swoopy hair and the bandana. And this one has a skull on the front with red glowing eyes, which I think looks really awesome. We have Paladin Slayer's Pride, which this is new, a flag on the back, which I have wielded. So I'm flying the black flag of the pirates here on my back as well. Um, and we have the Paladin Slayer's Wheel. It's like the wheel on a ship and it's made out of bones <laughs> with a red glow to it which is pretty nice it's a pretty cool looking cape i think really nice with this armor set of course and we have paladin slayer's stash which is a bank pet which is very nice also kind of just hops around when you when you walk like that that's the animation it has a nice glow to it since we are here on aq light we are going to hop into the camera tool and get a much closer look at the armor here Let's zoom in on our character a little bit, make him draggable, and pull him over here. Let's take a nice look at these details. Personally, I wish that the flames on top of the hat here, I wish those were animated. That'd be pretty cool. I wish the eyes were also animated They, the way they were on that Doom Guard armor that I got in like a video or two ago, where it was kind of like part of the Doomwood Part 3, like kind of cybernetic, and the eyes like were like pulsating like vibrating that looked really cool i think that would be awesome to see that implemented here like in the eyes and on the little uh, medallion here on the hat and these little jewels here i think that would be so so cool i like the whole vordred color way here and with the spikes and the skulls i think that is so cool and you know the first thing that set out to me about this naval commander is that it seemed a lot different something about it like the style the way it fits the body of the character i feel like this is like a newer and improved naval commander i hope all the other naval commanders that come out in the future look like this including this talk like pirate day um naval commanders i don't know what it is i'm not sure if it's the little cuffs here and the shoulder blade and this belt seems lower too usually on the other naval commanders the belt's like a little higher and this little robe part is usually behind the leg and i don't know exactly what it is this one just looks cooler i definitely enjoy the red theme they have going on and this white is a nice hint and complements 
this like bluish gray with this bone. I think that was a good touch. And the way this cutlass looks, it doesn't look like the traditional Taco Bell Pirate Day cutlass. It has the same influence on it as those cutlasses, but has its own twist to it, which I really like. The pistol is cool. The open skull and the barrel coming out of his mouth. That was a nice touch. All in all, I personally really enjoy this naval and I could definitely see myself wearing it a lot. The oldest naval I have is, I believe it's the Platinum Naval. Am I right about that? Yeah, Platinum Naval Commander. Let's, let's take a look at the Platinum Naval Commander and kind of compare. How about that? Go into my armor customization so we can get like a closer look and constantly change the armors and take a look at it, kind of dissect it ourselves. See here how the belt is like kind of high? It, maybe it's just the belt buckle that's really big. See what I'm saying? The belt, it's down more. This one, he looks more like Doom. He looks more like a just a pirate and of course like the shoulder blades i don't know he looks bigger i don't know i like it the chest in him seems more fuller i'm thinking too much into it but the chest definitely looks bigger i like this design i think they did a really good job definitely appreciate it i hope you know all the other navels look like this in the future Alrighty, guys that's gonna do it for today's video if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up head on down to the comments and tell me what you enjoyed about it if you didn't like this video give me a thumbs down and head on to the comments and tell me what i could have done better if you guys are feeling generous hit that subscribe button and turn on my notification bell to be notified when i upload all my social medias will be in the description below but i will mention them here anyway if you guys want to follow me on twitter it is at lanky aqw i'm pretty active on there you guys can also find me on reddit at lanky aqw every time i upload a new video i always upload it to reddit so if you guys don't see it here you'll see it either on twitter or reddit right away if you guys want to collaborate with me or simply just hang out my discord will be in the description below I'll also put it in the comments so you guys can join my discord and come hang out a lot of people have been joining and we've been having a pretty good time if there are any other adventure quest worlds related discord servers you guys want me to join and hang out in send me a message and give me the invite link i've never said this before but i'm going to because you never know if you guys have never played adventure quest worlds or this is your first adventure quest worlds video you've ever seen or you've never heard of aqw head on down to the description my referral link will take you right to the adventure quest worlds website and you guys can sign up and start playing yourself because it's a cool game and i always enjoy when new people join i have one more announcement and that is about legion logbook uh the next episode is coming as soon as possible i don't have an exact release date yet i spun an item that is a humongous grind so that's taking me some time also on top of being off and away at uh, town for three to four days last week and then three to four days this weekend so i only have like two days now in between to film and record and edit so try not to rush any videos you know i really highly and strongly believe in quality over quantity i just wanted to kind of make an announcement saying that i'm working on it it's on its way it'll take as long as it done i want to make sure i put out the best production that i possibly can i don't know that you guys might be interested in hearing that <laughs> maybe not <laughs> who knows i almost forgot to mention that if you guys go down to the comments and leave your in-game name i will check out your character page and house and i will showcase it at the beginning of upcoming videos i will see you right back here for another new video and i will see all of you in game <laughs>